Hello, truth seekers. Okay, I'm lining up a couple of videos. Got a busy day and I wanted to see how things are going for you for the Lenten season. We're getting into that weird spot, you know, like heading into that third week, like you're in the middle of stuff. Maybe it's not going so well. Maybe it's going really well, but now you're turning the corner. I don't know what's going on, but we're all on our own road. <laughs> I am learning so much, and it really is all about discernment. So if you're walking this Lenten path, and you're falling, and you're talking with God, and you're trying to understand why, why are you falling? What can I do, God, to stop the madness, right? Lord, please help me. Give me the grace to not commit this sin or to not give in to my bodily temptations, which are always clamoring for something, right? Ugh. So we're going to talk probably the next couple of weeks about discernment. So you should be discerning what God wants you to do to fight whatever you're fighting or to deal with whatever you're dealing with. Maybe you're discerning a decision. I've got a huge one coming up in my family. My husband and I have been talking a lot about it. And when the decision is going to be made, it's made. And it requires some time. So we typically we need massive discernment if we're looking at two good things. Because God can easily, not God, sorry, Satan. He, Satan can easily take something that is good and just twist it just that little bit amount and make it his will, not God's will for you and your life. So it is really important, especially with a big, massive decision, such as um, a job, or maybe it is your discerning marriage, your discerning a vocation to religious life. Maybe you're um, discerning whether you're going to go to a wedding of someone who isn't practicing. Maybe you're discerning, I don't know how, I mean, just to quit a job, to retire, to quit your job and start your ministry or your own passion, but you're afraid to. You know, like two decisions, two good decisions, and you're kind of thinking, well, it's really not going to be such a bad thing if I decide either way. But those are the times that you need to sit with God. So I guess my first thing on, dis on discernment between some decisions, I'd like to take this one, as our topic is to narrow it down. <laughs> Let's not have 10 things that we could go down the path of. Let's sit ourselves. Let's ask God in, but ask ourselves, what do we really need? What do we need? Not, not, not what do we want? And then ask ourselves, what is the reason behind that? need or desire? And is it really a need or desire? What is it rooted from? Is it rooted from pride, from money, from sadness, loneliness? Where is this coming from? That is the first thing in discerning God's will. Because we not only need to know God's will, we need to know our will, and we need to know Satan's will. So it is a process and it takes, ooh, the geese just flew out the window. Hi geese. It does take some time. So if you're discerning something that's a big decision in your life, please take the time with yourself, with another person, if you are making a decision together with someone, pray over it where two people are together and they pray to the Lord for the same outcome, God is there. He does take our decision, our, our prayer with that other person. <clears throat> and I'm calling my husband to pray with me on this one because it's that important. God's will. Okay, that's the first part of discernment. We will cover this and then hopefully by the end of Easter, or when Easter comes, by the end of Lent, we will all have a pretty clear idea of how to hear God's life word in our lives. Man, it is early. Ah, <laughs> sorry for the flub ups. 
discernment, narrow them down and find out why you think these are good decisions. And we will talk to you next week. I love you all. And so does God. Don't forget to follow the small acts of love for 40 days. It'll be all the way up to Easter. So it'll be more than 40 days. Tiny little ways to bring God's love to those in your life. Those that you know and those that you don't know. Okay, everyone, I love you all. Have a blessed week. Let's narrow down some decisions and let's find out the root reason as to why we think these are good decisions in our lives. Step one, I love you. Have a blessed week. Talk soon. Bye.